The famous Indian director Vishal Bharadwaj recently announced his latest movie Fursat shot entirely on an iPhone. Well, it's not really the first time that uh, people are choosing an iPhone as a tool to produce movies. Uh, in fact, the famous uh, Hollywood director uh, Soderbergh shot a couple of movies using an iPhone. Prior to that, uh, iPhone 6, if I remember right, was used to create a Bentley commercial. Well, Soderbergh movie was shot on iPhone 8. And uh, I think last year, a Marathi movie, Pondicherry, was created or shot entirely on an iPhone and now Fursat. That suddenly reminded me that we've not done any videos recently uh, in our famous mobile phone series, Shoot Like a Pro. I thought maybe it is an interesting subject to talk to since it is really hot. Well, we have an iPhone. Uh, we have a couple of products in the studio which has been sitting for a couple of months uh, which actually can be used, put to good use in fact, to create nice interesting motion picture or videos. Because now iPhone has moved into a motion picture level, right? So, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan and welcome back to Shoot Like a Pro. 15 and uh, for this video we're going to be using uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max and a small rig mobile video cage which is actually a model specific cage I have it outside the box already it's a very well made cage and uh, I'm also going to be using a couple of other products like a Sirui anamorphic lens i'll tell you during the shoot what an anamorphic lens is and a couple of uh, hand grips from uh, small rig now this is universal this can go on to any cages that small rig makes and in fact this will go anywhere which can take this quarter 20 thread very useful this cage is especially made for the 13 pro max it's also available for other uh, iPhone models. Now you have the 14 Pro Max available. It's also available for the 12 Pro Max lookup small rig mobile video cage. Very easy, very well made. Well, it slides in very comfortably. And yeah, I mean, they've done such a wonderful engineering job with this cage. It fits in snugly and locks it in place. It is so strong that probably you can hunt with this now. You know, it, it's very nice. I mean, if you can afford to keep it like this on a daily basis, then the phone I think is going to last forever from any kind of accidental damages. Now, what is interesting is, you know that all the modern iPhones have serious lens bump and this cage takes care of the lens bump. You can not only shoot straight away like this or there's a mount on this uh, cage using which you can add the small rig anamorphic lens. I don't have the small rig lens here, but I have a Sirui lens which shares the same mount. You can also use a moment lens and I am sure there are a couple of other lens manufacturers uh, for a mobile phone which shares the same lens mount. All you have to do is to, uh, you know, use this on the video lens, the standard lens and your camera transforms into an anamorphic camera. Now, I don't want to really go into the physics and optics of uh, what anamorphic lens is and how that effect is achieved. Let me tell you in plain, simple language, because we will keep that for another video, which you're going to do with a hybrid camera. Let me tell you very simple terms that this gives you the effect of all those Hollywood videos, uh, all films rather, that you see which are more elongated and cropped from top and bottom. It appears like that. When we have to create a feeling like that, we take it into our uh, editing software and put a crop on top and bottom to kind of give you an uh, anamorphic feel. But technically, it cannot really match the look and feel of an anamorphic lens. The lens is actually referred by the amount of uh, compression it can actually cause. This is 1.33x, so it actually takes point, I mean, about 30% more than what actually a lens of the same focal length can take. 
and squeezes it in and in the post they go through a process called de-squeezing that's how you actually add a lot of uh, you know coverage not by cropping top and bottom and moving backwards we'll go into that i promise you i'll go into it in detail in the next video but for this particular video i'm going to get just use this straight away you will see the difference and it really kind of give you that real hollywood feel now i'm going to keep the lens here for a moment and i'm going to use uh, a hand grip here just to show you how it's used I have one more so I'm going to add this on to the left of the camera too. Now this actually gives me a much better balance and control on my camera you know on my phone rather. Now there are more than one way to shoot using an anamorphic lens okay. You can use a software an app like Filmic Pro to shoot which actually will allow you to preview the de-squeezed image. Alternatively, you can shoot with the native camera which is what I am going to do today and use the entire capability of the Apple's own native camera which I think is brilliant, okay? Not that Filmic Pro is bad. Filmic Pro actually will give you a lot of uh, manual controls to you. In case if you'd like to see Filmic Pro in action, let me know. Maybe I can create another video for you. For the time being, I'm going to shoot it using the native camera app. I'm going to use my Premiere Pro to de-squeeze it. So our model is ready right behind. We're going to go out and do a couple of walking shots, standing, looking into the camera kind of a shot. I'll also show you how it will look if I shoot it without the lens with manually cropping top and bottom and you will be able to understand the difference. Let's go. How did you like the video? <laughs> well, a fun video, uh, but I think it was enough to drive the point home. 
two things how useful this gear is and how useful the anamorphic lens is to create a certain kind of a look we repeated those shots uh, without the anamorphic lens using the native lenses now take a look at these shots well i had maintained the same distance and when i put a crop from top and bottom to make it look like an anamorphic well see how much space i'm losing on the left and right the the lens is simply not wide enough so there are two takeaways from this video one how good this uh, grip is the mobile video cage is and how helpful if you have these handles you know the hand grips second of course how good the anamorphic lens is to create a certain look and feel and besides this there are a couple more advantages of using the cage and the grip is that if you have an audio device for example an audio receiver you want to record your audio professionally straight into the phone then you can use a wireless uh, transmitter receiver and the receiver can comfortably get hooked on here you can have a cable which runs straight into the, the phone. And if you don't have the hand grip, there is a slot in the cage itself, okay? Now, you can also use this slots to mount a light. For example, this one is from Nanlite. All you need is a cold shoe and uh, just screw that in. You're ready here, slide it in. And lock it now this is an interesting um, I'm sure many of you have already seen it but you know you have this possibility of lighting it nicely this particular gear from Nan light the little light SC has a nice diffuser so using which you can actually get a nice diffuse light instead of a hard light so this is a nice very effective uh, you know gear you have the audio you have the light and of course you have the anamorphic grip this actually looks pretty professional isn't it very impressive all right so that's about the shoot like a pro 15 if you're still there with us in this video it means that you've liked this video so i request you to subscribe share and of course also remember to use that bell button so that you know when we release our video I see you in another one.